Golly, I mean, <clears throat> just the appreciation, uh, how thankful we are to be a part of this bowl. And uh, this is the uh, sixth time we've been able to be involved. The sponsorship by Lockheed Martin, uh, the sheer organization, and uh, the great, great hospitality. It's second to none in terms of what Brent Ringler and the Armed Forces Bowl provide for uh, not only each one of the institutions, but especially the way uh, they invest and truly are so committed to making it an incredible opportunity for our young men. And um, we're honored to be a part of it, especially how much this bowl, what it represents, and uh, the recognition that goes with it in terms of our military members. So uh, really, really proud that way to get to be able to be a participant and, uh, and then to be able to be involved and be able to win. Uh, in the way that we did, uh, I thought we played really, really complete football uh, in each one of the phases and uh, certainly encountered a, an extremely talented and a good team in Baylor too. But uh, couldn't say enough about our guys. Uh, the sheer guts, the will, the fight, uh, their dedication. And I, I don't know why, just more than anything else in your heart and your soul, what you want over and over and over is for our seniors to graduate in May. and. Um, to, to earn a degree from the United States Air Force Academy. All right, and then we've got uh, quarterback Ezek Daniels and uh, safety Jaden Goodwin here. And questions to anybody here? This may be a question for all you guys, but do you feel like the weather conditions kind of benefited the way your offense is built? I, the only thing I'll say, I mean, I. I thought the guy threw some strikes now. Uh, the ball up the sideline uh, to Mari Terry, how pinpoint that was. Certainly the throw, the touch that he had on the touchdown. So, yet it never hurts. I think any time you can go forward, that's certainly something that we're committed to doing. And then the other part on the, you know, just defensively, um, our guys embrace some of the versatility that we utilize. And Jaden does a fantastic job that way, but all of our guys. I wanted to ask about that, that sequence before the pass, or including the pass from Mar Terry. It's coming out of the half. You had like a third and ten-ish. You picked it up, then you hit that pass. How, how critical was that series? Because they had just scored before the half to come to 9-7, and then you guys could have you know, punted from deep in your territory. I think any game we try to come out of half and – oh, so I'll share Come out, come out of half and, you know, try to get a drive going and try to get some points on the board. Um, and so um, it's very critical. And I think that's every game, you know. Uh, we want to be able to get some momentum uh, going in you know, the second half. So. And what did you see on the pass? Because the way you threw it, you didn't loft it up there. You threw it on a line. Was there a reason and kind of what was your A sight? little bit of the win factor. Uh, just didn't want to let, let it hang in the air too much. Um, it was a pass later in the game. You know, I kind of tried to loft it a little bit. And I think I felt like the win took it a little bit. Um, but safety um, ran over closer to the middle of the field, and um, AT was going up the sideline past the corner, so he made a great catch. And how proud are you the way you guys did have to adjust through the game? I mean, early you picked up some first downs through the passing game. You ran for several. It seemed like you guys were able to do whatever you needed to do in the situation. That's something we talked about this week, you know, just being able to um, adjust and, you know, make um, sideline decisions and halftime decisions, you know, um, to see what they were doing and to see how we can uh, – you know, fix our play, and so uh, I think we did a really good job. The coaches got, did a good job of, you know, calling the right plays, and um, you know, I think we executed well. I think they were 0 for 11 on third down. Yep. How were you guys able to produce those stops so consistently? I think um, you got to big give big credit to the play calling. You know, we were in the right spot a lot of times. Um, everyone's effort to the ball was good as well. Uh, we didn't miss a lot of tackles either. Uh, we had them in third and long situations. Uh, just to stop them that way. Was there some pride in that? I mean, obviously you guys had the number one ranked defense coming in, but mm -hmm. did you still have something to prove? Oh, yes, sir. Uh, there's some talk sometimes about the amount that we're actually on the field, but if you go 0 for 11 on third down, every time we're on the field, we get a stop. So that's pretty good. Coach, uh, this season winning the Commander-in-Chief's trophy and winning your bowl game, can you talk about the your team's ability to show up for these big, impactful games that seem to mean a lot to your team? Well, I think 
<clears throat> we've done that throughout stretches of time too. You know, and I think more than else, we just we want to play competitive football. Uh, is the desired result each time you go out to have more points than your opponent? It is. Uh, yet that's not a guarantee at all. And uh, I think more than else, the best thing you can do is work incredibly hard. Uh, prepare and try to digest as many details as possible so you can go out and function and operate. And, uh, and these guys do a sensational job that way as far as the attention to detail. Jaden, uh, John Lee proposes moments after the game. Just as his teammate, how special was that moment just to see just all of you guys coming around together against, against him? I think just a tribute to our brotherhood. Um, you know, I think we're all – Pretty close, you know. You always have, always, obviously have people that you're closer to on the team. But um, I think it just showed how we can all come together and you know just show support to our brother and uh, be happy for him. And she said yes, so y'all were wondering. Uh, coach, this is for. This is on. Coach, this is for you. Back to back years of ten wins. What does that mean for this program and where this thing seems to be headed for you guys? Being able to accomplish that feat. Yeah, I I think to be real, I mean we're not headed in a direction where that I think truthfully I mean will we what this senior class has won at least 10 games three different seasons and it's the only time it's ever happened you know I mean service academy football has played for collectively probably 300 years um, and will we ever see that again we may not you know to be real about it now, Jaden's going to tell me, Coach, easy here. Um, but it's uh, it may be an anomaly, to be candid. And, uh, and I think we realize we're at a place, if you ever get to six wins in a season and get to a bowl game, that's darn hard to do. And that we do want to be competitive, and uh, we'll do everything we can to make that possible. Was there any thought given at halftime to choosing the win for the fourth quarter as opposed to getting that extra possession? Um, it's ironic. You know who asked me that today? Tyler, my son, said, Dad, you're up two scores at halftime. He brings these things up out of the blue. He said, you're up two scores at halftime. Any thought? Maybe you kick with the wind uh, coming out in the third quarter. Or you know you have the wind in the fourth quarter. I said, no, nah, I think you got to take you got to take." an extra possession whenever you can get it. Okay. And guess what? We scored on two possessions into that win. Yeah, I mean, well, or, or with, you know, with, with that win on those two possessions. It really, um, <clears throat> I don't want to say it was an end all, but it, they were deciding touchdowns, both of them were. Did that impact the play calling at all? Because there was maybe some urgency to score in the third quarter when you? I, I, I don't think so. And I know I think sometimes – you know, the input or the thought is because you're with the wind, you have to throw it. I think the kind of throws that we design, um, I, I don't feel like it would have mattered whether you're into the wind or with the wind. I, Zeke might be able to even answer that more specifically. What was it like for either of you playing in those conditions? I, mean, I don't know that I've seen you guys playing quite that cold combined with the wind. It was cold. Um, <laughs> my hands were freezing. Um, but, you know, uh, you know, all the staff, you know, did a good job of making sure we had coats on on the sideline and we had those heaters, those heated seats um, and heaters on, at the side. And so uh, I think that helped a lot, but it was still cold regardless. So it was definitely tough. But um, in my opinion, it wasn't really that bad because every day, you know, walking to class, it's cold <laughs> as that, if not colder. So no, I'm kind of used to it at this point. I don't think the other team was, but, you know. Looking forward now, you know, as the guy who's coming back, you know, on the defense, how, how much excitement is there going to be just because there are a lot of you coming back who have experienced, you know, all these 10 win seasons and everything else you've seen? Yeah, um, especially in the secondary. Uh, we finished the number two passing defense in the country. Uh, we, you know, we got some big shoes to fill. We're the same people, though, so I'm pretty sure there's some excitement uh, to finish out the last year together. Me. Okay. Yeah. Zeke, um, being able to close out your career with a win and a great game individually, can you just sum up what your experience at Air Force with this football team has meant to you? Uh, grateful and blessed just to be able to be here, um, get the opportunity to play football at the Division One level and um, 
have stayed healthy for as long as I've stayed healthy and um, just be coached by the people I've been coached by and the support system that I have, um, coaches, family, friends, all of that. Um, so I'm just grateful. Uh, you know, um, it's been a long ride, and I, I think uh, I've grown a lot. And so um, like all I can say is just grateful for you know, everything, everybody that's helped me along the way. Jaden, same for you. What? How did it feel to be able to lift that trophy and kind of cap off uh, your career that way? Yeah. Um, so we were standing out there for the little trophy ceremony, and it, it was getting cold. Uh, I said this before. I'll say it again. Um, I couldn't feel my hands. I couldn't feel my face. And I can't believe we got 10 wins again. <laughs> <laughs> 10 wins. I know you don't set expectations. I believe you said that at the beginning of the season. Um, but is this a – was this a satisfying season for you? Do you feel like they reached the mark of the potential maybe that you saw in this group? Well, I, I always base it upon how well you work, how well you pull together, um, the improvement that they make, and uh, truly just to see the esprit and the, you know, the kind of camaraderie that they generate. And um, every team that you have is different. This has been an absolute joy. And, uh, and I think sometimes it's easy to say that whenever you've won 10 games. Uh, it's not. I mean, just the depth, the feeling, again, the mutual respect that you just you feel like these guys have. And um, that's really what you, you know, that's what you want to teach and what you want to generate. That's what you want to foster and cultivate. And um, these guys get that, and it's going to help them immensely as they go forward as leaders, too. Sorry, did you know that proposal was going to happen? And as a coach, how proud does it make you to see that happen? I, I did not know. Um, good for him. Remarkable young man. And uh, he, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's a neat little deal. Yes, ma'am. Anybody else? You guys good? We'll let him keep thawing out. Thank hmm. you, everybody. Thank you, guys.